India had invented the numbers that we call, incorrectly, Arabic numerals. The reason we call them Arabic numerals is there was a Persian, see how complicated this is? Like, India invents numbers, and then there's a Persian, his name was Khorazmi. That Persian took those numbers and then advanced math, he, he's the guy who did algebra, he's the guy who wrote the world's first ever algorithm, but it, as a result, when Europeans first made contact with those numbers, they got it through his works, and not being able to differentiate between Persians and Arabs, they went, oh, Arab numerals. And so that's why. And by the way, in case you were wondering, like, because in the Middle East, there's one set of numbers, and then North Africa, Europe, that, why am I doing this? The entire rest of the world uses the other set of numbers. They were both from India. Like, there's, it's not that one was and one wasn't. I don't know why the Indians made two sets of numbers, but that's what they did. So, and then of course the really important thing was zero, but honestly, even if they hadn't done zero, it still would have been amazing having the digits, because do this as an exercise later. Make a number like 48, but write it the way the Romans did, and then multiply it by three. You'll, it, you just don't want to live. Like, there's no, there's no what, what was that? What were the Romans even thinking? Um, so what, what the Indians did revolutionized everything. 